Hello everyone and welcome back to Anxious Beauty. Today we are going to do a eyeshadow palette revisit. Let's get started. Alright guys, so this video is not sponsored in any way. It is just me and my opinion. The only thing I have on my eyes here is the pretty vulgar unchained eyeshadow primer until we use that all up and that is it. Uh, today's eyeshadow palette we're going to be revisiting today is the Makeup Revolution London Chilled Palette here. Now, uh, people have made comments to me before, really nice comments by the way, that they really like how I do my eyeshadow colors but they're afraid to use like bright bold colors or they're just nervous about doing it or, you know, they would mess it up in some way. Once upon a time, way back when, before I ever started filming, I would not use colored eyeshadow either. I always stick to like browns, really light colors. I even went with like a plum purple at one point in time for a while. But um, as I've grown into makeup and got comfortable with it, I've learned that I really like colorful eyeshadow. It is not for everybody, but if you guys are interested in it, um, yeah, I suggest you just Try it out, see what you like, what you don't like. Personally, I like using greens on my eyes because I have brown eyes and I personally think it makes my eyes pop more. But you find what you like and what you don't like. I just encourage you to experiment, try with it, see what you like and what you don't like. So like this palette may make people nervous, but I wanted to show it to you. Nice mirror in there. I really like Makeup Revolution London's palettes as well as I Heart Revolution palettes as well. Now I show you that palette, but here's another palette that may make people like really nervous that like don't really like using color. This is the ColourPop Fade Into Hue eyeshadow palette here. And let me just open it up and show you real quick. It's okay, you don't have to use color eyeshadow if you don't want to. I just prefer doing it. And I just want you guys to know that, you know, try. Just try, and if you don't like it, take it off and go what you like, with what you like. But that would make some people nervous. Heck, when I first started to make up, this I would have never bought. Never would have gotten it. I would have been like the neutrals palette all the way. But this I have actually grown to love so, so much. I know it's every color of the rainbow on there. All right, so anyway, back to this palette here. So like I said, I haven't used this palette in a while. It is a, I already done a review on this way back when. If you guys are interested in that, go to uh, my makeup reviews and it should be on there somewhere. Really nice palette, nice mirror, pigments there, blendability, amazing. Like I said, I like using greens, and this is, you can do like a neutral look with this one too, or you can do a colorful look with this. It's just kind of all what your preference is. But I'm just, I, like, I'm not trying to like force you guys to use color. I just want you to like, just try, if that makes sense. This is the, let's see, what color am I going to use? I think we're gonna go with Plant, which is this one right here, kind of like a darker green. And I'm gonna put that in my crease and in the outer corner of my eye. And also guys, I do this just because I want to. You don't have to carry your eyeshadow up so high like I do. I just like doing it. It's just kind of my preferred preference. But it's all about what makes you comfortable. Such a nice thing about makeup too. If you don't like what, you know, what's happening with your eyeshadow, lipstick, what have you, you could take it off and you could just start over again. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a blending brush here and I'm just gonna blend this out. Just blend, blend, blend.
see like this eye is like a little bit more up you can see the green more than in this one I'll probably um, use a q-tip and clean that off here off camera and that is before you guys see the final look and I just edit that out when I'm doing the editing process or right, I just want you guys to know that this is not the final product or the final look for sure I always have to like almost always well there's a couple times I haven't but a lot of time I have to like clean up off camera and then come back on camera and just edit it out and then show you guys the final look so there that is all blended out now I'm gonna go back in with this blended brush and I'm gonna lighten this look up just a little bit and go in over top of that with leaf so this lighter colored green right there Now I'm going to go and just take my finger here because it's, I feel like it's easier with shimmers uh, just using my finger. I'm going to use Candyland so this shimmer right whoop, here. I'm just going to tap that on my eyes. Let me show you guys now. Look how pretty that is. I love this palette so much. And I'm just going to put that on the spot where there is no shadow. I believe they call this like a half cut crease or half cut crease, something like that. I'm not for sure. It's just kind of how I prefer to do my makeup. Oh, it is so pretty. Just like so. All right, and I'm not done with this palette yet. All right, guys, so next what I'm gonna do is go in with this calm and put that in the inner corner of my eye just to make it pop more. And that's like a cream shimmer. Like that. All right, guys, then I'm gonna use a liner brush and I'm gonna put in let's try I haven't used really the browns in this palette yet and I kind of want to use one let's try burn which is like this dark brown here I'm going to use that it's just kind of like an eyeliner and use it to eyeline my eyes with I'm not the best at eyelining but it's always good to like practice All right, and then last but not least, I am gonna go ahead with this brush, this blending brush, and just kind of blend this out just a little bit more. And I think we are done with this palette. But anyways, guys, if you like this palette, I do encourage you to go and check it out. It is a very nice palette. And also, guys, if anybody is interested, just let me know in the comments. I can do a neutral look for you guys too. Too. Um, sometime I like using colors, I keep saying in this video, but um, for uh, neutral looks, I could definitely do more of that for you guys too if you're interested. So just let me know in the comments and I could definitely do that for you. I'm so sorry, my nose itches. All right, so now I'm going to go on with some mascara. This is like kind of like their sample size. This is the NARS Climax Extreme Mascara. It's like a mini version. I got this in an advent. Or no. I don't remember where I got this one, actually. It may have been in a giveaway that I had won. I think that's where I got it. All right, then I'm gonna top off this look here with the Glam Light. Uh, this is their liquid lip gloss and caramel frappe. This is, I haven't used this in a long time and it always smells good. Hmm. And then there's like little applicator in case anybody's interested in seeing what that looks like okay guys I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my eyes off camera and I'll see you guys with the final look let's do a cool transition shall we all right 
guys, so this is the final look here. Let me take my hair down and show you. Okay, so here is a close-up look at my eyes. Um, so pretty much the point in this video is for me just to do like an eyeshadow palette uh, revisit because I haven't used that in a while. And also guys, it took me a very long time to get comfortable with colorful eyeshadow and even colorful lipstick. Um, so I just, like I was saying earlier, encourage you to kind of experiment, kind of try to find what you like and what you don't like. And if you don't like what it's, and if you don't like it, wipe it off and start all over again. So yeah, anyways guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It does help me out a lot and I appreciate it. Also guys, if you want to see more of me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button by hitting the little bell over there in the corner. We'd love to have you here. We have fun here. Also guys, I want to thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, just watching my videos. It means the world to me as well and I appreciate that as well. It's going to be it for me today. I'm going to go ahead and head out for the day and I will see you guys soon with another new video and I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye guys.